Hey everyone, Emmanuel here from Fight Club. This week we're going to be covering the topic of stick work uh, in training. So I wanted to make a quick little video uh, sharing with everybody uh, a practice that you can do at home that will help you kind of constantly build comfort and awareness of working with a stick, but it could be applied to all weapons. But I'm going to show you some of my personal training that I do uh, when I come to class. Uh, beforehand or afterhand or at home just to kind of get familiar get comfortable and uh, just uh, have more time with this tool in my hand so let me share with you the way I, I break it down so I break it down first and foremost to the way it's typically used which is in your hands so uh, just holding a stick in your hand and moving it around um, you know especially in the in the wrist like through the wrist and from different parts of the stick so you know, there's the middle of the stick will feel different than the, the one side or the other side. And then also the different grips, whether it's reverse grip or uh, traditional grip will also change. And you can start to study how to move the stick in your hands, okay? Um, that's a great way of, of beginning. It sounds really basic, but um, to be honest with you, it's actually quite advanced like <laughs> most, uh, most applications. And then I start to move it maybe in different ways. So maybe like a figure eight or from different positions in my hands. So maybe from beside me or from behind me of sorts or above me. So I start to move the stick in any which way, shape or form, passing it from one hand to the other and even within my fingers as well. So studying how to work with the stick even within your different fingers. Okay, uh, and studying how to kind of feel the weight um, of the stick because all sticks will have a different weight to them as well. So kind of working with the fingers, working with the wrist, working from different positions. And then the exact same thing is with your feet. So I will put the stick on the ground now um, and start to move it with my feet um, and ankles. Okay, so that again is a, a different way of looking at it. So you put the stick on the ground and just start to kind of pass it around, move it around with your feet from one side to the other side, dragging it, kicking it, controlling it with your, um, with your feet. And then you can even do it from this position where you start to kind of move the stick, um, utilizing your ankles, different parts of your feet. So the side of the foot, the inside of the foot, the back of the foot, the front of the foot. So you start to kind of play with the stick just like you did with your hands but with your feet. So those are the two areas that I would begin with. And then I would start and I would go up the chain now and I would start working with my elbows and starting to feel how I can work with the stick in my elbows, okay? Or in the forearm area anyway. Um, so I start to kind of move it around. Uh, you can grab it and move or you can just let it kind of float in your elbow area and try to see all the different things that you can do, right? So try to see, say to yourself, you know, can I work with the stick in many different ways? So, you know, uh, just kind of holding it in your elbows and feeling it, and you can apply anything. You can do kicks, you can go to the ground, you can get up, you can jump, you can run, but you're working with the stick in that elbow region, okay, in that forearm, upper arm region. And then the exact same thing again with the same part of the leg. So the back of the knee, the front of the knee. So you're starting to work using the stick and the place of generation, generating the movement is from the knee, the outside of the knee or the inside of the knee or the back of the knee or the front of the knee. And you can do it many different ways, right? It can be like this as well, just being comfortable moving um, the stick or the stick even approaching your knees. Again, you know, the more you work with the stick like this, tomorrow maybe when the stick is swung at you by somebody else, you're able to work or understand how to work in that region, whether it's the knee area or the arm area. So you start to build an awareness and a comfort of the stick even making contact in these areas. Then um, the other one would be shoulders, right? So understanding how to work with your shoulders and the stick. So there's lots of ways, right? 
There's lots of ways of working with the stick and the shoulders, right? And trying to say to yourself, okay, I wonder what I can do with the stick on my shoulders. And even later, generating movements that come from the shoulder area, right? From the shoulder, whether it's this way or this way or that way or from the top. So you start to kind of work with the stick in this area, right? And watch, even from behind, generating the movement, right? Generating a movement from this area. Okay, and the same applies with the hips. So you start to generate movements from the hip area. So the stick contacts the hip and the power is generated from the hip. So you can work with the stick in this fashion all around the hips. So how, if I stick my butt out, how that, it sends the stick around. Or if I thrust my hips out, how it opens the stick. So you start to see how you can use the body's movements, right? So if my stick is on my shoulder, by sending my shoulder forward, and then now the stick is on the back, and by sending my shoulder forward, I can generate movement. So playing with the stick through the shoulders and through the hips, it's quite powerful. You'll see that they become more and more powerful the closer you get to the core of the body. And really the last one is working with my body and the stick. So I'm literally pinning the stick on my body and then I'm moving it. And I'm watching as I move my body. So I'm not thinking about moving the stick. I'm moving my chest forward and how the stick, and then I'm pinning it here on my ribs and I'm moving my ribs forward. So by, you start to realize that how body, how power comes from the body. I'm not trying to swing the stick. Literally, I'm rotating my body and the power comes from the rotation. The movement of the stick comes from the rotation. So anywhere where you can pin the stick and start to move with it on your body, even pinning it on the back. So, and look what's happening. Your whole body, your thoracic region, this whole midsection of the spine and the chest and the ribs, starts to move in ways that it's never moved before. This is so indicative of when somebody starts to kick you and then you can start to move your body or somebody starts to stab you in the back with a knife and you're, you're able to move your back. So training with the stick, with the hands, with the feet, with elbows, knees, shoulders, hips, and then the body in general. You can do this at home in five or 10 minutes and so wonderfully um, profound. And then when you come to training and we start training all week this week with the stick, you'll be that much more ready to absorb the material I'm gonna share with you. Because stick is a great training tool um, and it's a, great, um, it's a great indicator of the distance of the legs. So if you look at, if you look at the stick, it's, it's at that distance, it's got the distance of like a kick. So it really is that outer distance, um, you know, uh, knife uh, slashing and thrusting, kicking, like it has that distance weapon. So it really starts to teach you about that, what can happen at that distance. So uh, look forward to it. I love stick work. Um, so many wonderful expressions of it out there, like anything. Um, so we'll try to cover as much as we can this week and see if we can add another layer to our training and to our understanding of Sistema, okay? Look forward to teaching everybody, guys. Have a good one. Hope this helps.